best known as one of the stars of Jackass on MTV, professional skateboarder, and the host of Fox Sports Net skateboarding show 54321, once upon a time owned some pretty nice real estate in Hermosa Beach. However, these days he's chosen to live the simple life in none other than a van. Today we're gonna check out Wee Man's former home in California and his current abode, otherwise known as his Mercedes Sprinter van. Since this is the only real estate of his that we know of, my apologies if this video is a little short. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Wee Man, born as Jason Acuna, has quite the memorable career in Hollywood, garnering a net worth of $8 million. He became a household name when he appeared in MTV's highly popular Jackass television series and films. Despite his short stature, it did not hinder his professional skateboarding career in any way, and today is the host of Fox Sportsnet's skateboarding show 54321. In fact, for you gamers, Wee Man is also a playable character in skateboarding video games Tony Hawk's Underground 2 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. In addition to his successful acting career in 2010, Wee Man invested in a chain of fast casual Mexican restaurants called Chronic Tacos. For many years, he operated a location in his hometown of Hermosa Beach, but in 2018, he closed that location and moved to Long Beach, California. Shocking jackass fans, in September 2018, Jason decided to sell his home in Hermosa Beach, California for $2.37 million, which he lived in for nine years. A few months later, he announced he was choosing to live in a newly purchased a Mercedes bus van. He explained his move to a van by saying, I realize the more sh you have, the more issues you have. I wanted to be on the road. I love traveling. I needed a change in my life. I straight said, F it, I'm gonna get a van. I'm gonna live in it. I'm gonna do what I want. So we found a 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter van already kitted out by an architect in Arkansas and bought a one-way ticket to buy it. The star loves life on the road and the ability to wake and skate wherever he desires. a boy, wee man. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment, or in this case, a house and van tour. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at the former home of Jackass star Wee Man, as well as his current place of residence that he can drive and park wherever he pleases. This one's gonna be pretty interesting. As you know, here we talk about celebrity homes, but have you ever wondered what Lil Uzi Vert is spending on his new face diamond implant? Or about Justin Bieber's one-of-a-kind new whip? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. I'm gonna tell you everything we know about it and why on earth you would wanna spend so much on something so seemingly strange. Wouldn't a diamond in the forehead feel weird? Who knows? Join us and subscribe. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in 2018, Wee Man had sold his Hermosa Beach home of nine years for $2.37 million. He ended up coming out from the deal on top, walking away with over $1 million more than he paid for the detached townhouse in 2009. The gorgeous abode was spread across three levels and featured 1,865 square feet with four bedrooms and five bathrooms. The home features an indoor-outdoor living room decked out with all the features one could want at home and a glass sliding door that opened to a rooftop deck which anchored the floor plan. And that rooftop setup was decked out with a pool, outdoor entertainment system, and boasted spectacular views of the ocean, which was also conveniently located only a block away. Sliding glass doors and oversized windows brought in those views of the ocean, which seemed to be a theme in this house. They were located virtually everywhere throughout the place, giving every room bright life and an airy and open ambiance. It appears Wee Man was quite the chef as the subway towel and nautical themed breakfast bar touched up the kitchen. The kitchen also featured stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, a breakfast island perfectly centered in the room, and a walk-in pantry with more room than you know what to do with. In addition, the kitchen even had a dining area off to the side and a dumbwaiter. Found on the floor below, Wee Man's former master suite featured dual closets big enough to be another room in the house, which I'm sure with his current minimalistic lifestyle, he would now have absolutely no use for. Cause who needs all that stuff, right? This suite also had custom fixtures and opened up to a front-facing balcony of its own. In addition, the connected bathroom featured dual sinks, a large soaking tub with some more spectacular views, and a large stand-in shower perfect for relaxation. While some celebrities struggle with fame and money, including 
including some of the Jackass cast members themselves, Wee Man seems to have it all figured out these days. Shortly after selling his Hermosa Beach crib, Wee Man had opted to simplify his life. I mean, with tiny houses and livable wine barrels being all the rage, I guess he was on top of the trend. We found a 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter 144 wheelbase van which had been designed by an architect in Arkansas and he decided to buy a one-way ticket to purchase. While some people may think living in a van is pretty trashy, this has got to be the goat of all vans. Now nicknamed the Beast, Wee Man's Mercedes Sprinter van features stainless steel shower where he bathes over a tiki wood floor and toilet cubicle so he never has to bum a bathroom off one of his buddies. As I mentioned, Wee Man likes to cook so good thing the Sprinter features an electric stove, fridge and kitchen area so he can enjoy his meals while catching breathtaking views of his surroundings, wherever he may be. In addition, his kitchen features a decent sized sink and art from friends which he put on display and plenty of tools and knives to help him prepare his food. While Wee Man once occupied a spacious master suite in his old place, these days he sleeps by unfolding and stretching a jackknife bed, which is fitted with AC and a heater, to ensure the perfect temperature. So essentially, he can take this whip to anywhere he wants and not be bothered by weather conditions. Wee Man also keeps cost downs as his AC and a heater unit all run off drip diesel and solar power from panels fitted to the roof. He calls his entertainment his cell phone, which hangs on a clip and has a stereo connected to his Bose speaker, giving it full surround sound. Hey, say what you want, but do you have surround sound in both your bedroom and living room? I know I don't. Wee Man claims he gets exercise with his skipping rope and skateboard and likes to toke up and board wherever and whenever he wants. I mean, if you want to stay in shape and pack lightly, what a genius. The Beast has a dual light bar in the front which boasts yellow and bright white tones. In addition, the motor came with black rhino alloy wheels and has a license plate that reads 666. Wee Man claims that one advantage of living in a mobile home is being able to do road trips and keep in touch with former cast members. When Wee Man made this purchase, he picked it up and stayed an hour away at his former castmate Preston Lacey's house in Missouri, testing it out for a first night in his driveway after heading out on the town with his old friend. The following day, he was reunited with BMX riding Jackass star Matt Hoffman as he drove to his house and the pair went skydiving. Wee Man claims that more money leads to more problems and perhaps not as glamorous as his former home, his new simple life is pretty badass. Alright, so this house tour was a little different, but I gotta say I respect respect to Wee Man for his modest choices and desire to live a simpler life. We not only got to take a look at Wee's former home in Hermosa Beach, but also that sick Mercedes van he lives in currently. After checking out Wee's previous Hermosa Beach spot and his Lux Mercedes home on wheels, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Wee Man? Personally, I don't think I could live so simple. I like my clothes and my stuff. I'm guilty. But I do think he's doing it the right way and it's super cool. You guys can even go ahead and rate Wee Man's residences in the comments down below. Below. I'd also love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel. I post a new video Sunday and I'm almost at a thousand subs. We'll celebrate once I hit that. Here's a link to my latest video. Wait, 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 wait. Did she just say she's 18 years old? Oh my gosh, 18? I am shook. I thought she was like my age. She's a Gemini like me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.